Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, actually, I've been out for a few weeks. So I've been working on this contraption back here. It's a mouse trap with a whole bunch of sensors hooked up to it. So we took it up to a Maker Fair up in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. So uh, I'll be doing a tutorial series on how to make all of that work. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stop back. But today we are going to be looking at the accelerometer on the micro bit. We're kind of working up to a tutorial uh, to, to uh, control the, the Tinker Pie robot using a second micro bit. So I uh, thought we needed some, a little bit of background. So uh, what we're going to do first here is uh, go over to the Tinker Pie website and I'm just going to search for Excel, just the first few letters. And then uh, if you go down to tutorials, you'll find micro bit accelerometer basics. And I'll also put a link in the description of the video. So if you go down here a little bit, the previous step is the micro bit simple hello world. You could certainly skip that if, uh, if you can follow this one okay. If not, you could always go back and look at that. What you'll need is just a micro bit and a cable. That's all, just a cable to hook it into the computer. First thing we're gonna do here is log in to make code for micro bit. So I'll click here to open up a new window. And if you've never been in here before, it's just gonna open up a brand new project and we have a start and a forever block. So the first thing we're gonna do is to put a uh, LED into the start block. I always do this just to make sure that the micro bit is working when I turn it on. So whatever you put into the start block is what's gonna happen when you boot it up. So I'm gonna go into basic and show icon. I'm gonna drag it over and it fits right there in the start. And then you can uh, hit the drop down and put whatever you want for the icon. Okay, next we'll come back here and we're going to detect movement in the forever block. So the forever block is, is this block that will continually loop and it, it, it constantly looks for something that it's supposed to be doing. So what we want to do is, is to put this acceleration block in it. And uh, our project is just simply to uh, display the number that's returned from the accelerometer on the micro bit. And it's going to uh, show us a number that will reflect the, the tilting of the micro bit. So this is X, and this is Y, and this is Z. So to find this acceleration block, you can see it's not real obvious where it is. So I'll show you a trick here. If you just go and type in the first couple letters of acceleration, it'll show you all the blocks that, that matches that. And then if you look at the color of it, it's kind of this lighter purple. It's the same color as input, and that's how you'd know to maybe find it in input next time. And let's click here on input, and sure enough, there it is. So I'm gonna drag it over here, and the first thing you'll notice here is that it doesn't fit. So uh, we have the wrong kind of puzzle piece. Um, what we wanna do is to show the number on the screen. So if you look under basic, uh, you'll have uh, a couple things. Uh, you can show a string or you can show a number. And since we're getting a number back from the accelerometer, we need to use show number. And that one fits nicely into the forever block. And it expects uh, a number puzzle piece here. So if we take the accelerometer and drop it in there, what we're looking for, it gives us X, Y, Z, and strength. So first we're going to look at the x-axis, which as I said is, is to the left and the right. Now we're ready to, uh, to download this. You can also click on JavaScript just to see what it looks like in JavaScript. There you go. And then click on blocks to go back. And I'm just going to name it down here. I'm just going to call it accelerometer. And save it. And that will save it and it will also download it for us. So if you go to the downloads directory, and you take this hex file that it created and drag it over to your micro bit drive. It'll just take a, a few seconds here to copy it over. Once it does, it's going to uh, reboot the micro bit and the code will be all set up. Okay, so as I tilt it over to the left, it's going to have a negative number, negative 5, 12. Center should be around 0 negative 80. And then over to the right, it's going to go to a positive number. 
So it goes between negative 1024 and positive 1024. Okay, so let's go back to our, our uh, program and just change it to Y. And then hit, click Save again. And this is going to download a second one. It just puts a one after it because it doesn't want to overwrite your last one. So drag that one. Wait for it to reboot. Okay, we're initially at negative 16. Tilt it this way, and we're going to go negative 5. 44, I think, in this way. Positive 576. So as you can see, we go from negative 1024 to positive 1024 as we tilt it forward and back. Now lastly, let's just see what happens when we do the Z axis. So I'm going to change it to Z, save it, go back, drag it over. Okay, so our initial reading here is negative 1008. See what happens as we move it up. Negative 1024. Again, negative 928. So it goes up as we, uh, we, we go up in space. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Uh, we learned how to uh, program the micro bit to show us what the accelerometer readings are. So we found out that they go from negative 1024 to positive 1024 in three different directions. So in our next tutorial, we're going to build on that and uh, add some radio uh, communication so that we can communicate that to the other micro bit and, and have it display that number. So I hope you'll join me.